Because last summer, so it hasn't even, it's been, what, nine or ten months since the SEC uh, and ACC said what they said about BYU. And now here, less than a year later, they have changed their mind. What happened in the last year? I don't know. I think basically, it, you know, it goes back to they started, you know, they they looked at the college football playoff, and, you know, it, we've had a year now to kind of digest or get get a read on how they're going to evaluate teams and what, they're, what they value. Um, and so I think, you know, they looked at that, and, and they realized, you know, the SEC is going to continue to play an FCS opponent. They're going to have the tomato can, uh, you know, the, that – week in uh in november before they play the you know the iron bowl or the egg bowl and those sort of games that, that that's likely never going to go away but in the other three games they're required by league rules to to play one you know non non-conference power five team so they look i think they looked at the landscape and they just said you know there aren't you know a lot from the other power five leagues that are available um, you know, certainly the success BYU's had, you guys know off the top of your head, consecutive bowl games that BYU's been to, et cetera, et cetera. So I think it, it just made sense to them to kind of, you know, create a bigger pool of teams to choose from. Um, 